Hey, Engineering Robotics, here we go. We've got a new project for you. I'm going to show you how to use a specific tool today. And first, what could you use it for? I mocked this up the other night. 15 minutes, not a big deal. Laser cut joints. So what you've got, if you've got, uh, this is set up as eighth inch. So if you've got thin, thin uh, solid wood or plywood veneer, or you've got acrylic, you can make these laser joints, these finger joints down here, and then these through cuts right here. You can make this and mock this up. This is super basic. This is a beginning chassis because now you put your mechanism wheels under here or your tank wheels under here, your belt, your pulley, your drive, your gears, your motors, you pocket all that in, and then you've got a nice flat 18 inch square to work on and build on from there. All right. So this would be, you would make your alignment holes in here for your axles, for your mounting points. This is just the very beginning, very basic place you can start from. But we're going to focus on how to quickly get these laser cut fingers in. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to start from scratch. All right. We're going to create a new document. We're just going to call it um, laser cut test. Okay, so we are going to make a new document. We are going to just start real fast. We're going to make a sketch, top plane. We're going to go hit in so we're normal. And we're going to make a rectangle, center rectangle, nice and easy. We're going to, nope, center rectangle, just like this. And this is in meters, so if we just go 30, oh, no, not 30, 0 0.3 and 0 0.3. So we've got just, that's about a foot by foot, right? 30 centimeters, 0.3 meters, and done. Now, let's extrude that. We're going to extrude it up towards ourselves, uh, two and a half that's two and a half centimeters, so it's an inch thick. That's all fine. That's pretty thick. There we go. We're going to leave it that thick just to exaggerate what's going on. You shouldn't have anything an inch thick that you're really doing this kind of laser cut with. But we're going to leave it a little thick for exaggeration. Now, I am going to, we're going to make another sketch on this side. There are several ways to do this. Obviously, all right, now we're going to make a corner rectangle. When you're using this laser cut tool, it's much easier. Normally, you would start your corner here and move up and then worry about extruding and extracting. We are going to start at this bottom corner. We're going to come up over here some direction, and we're going to go 0.3 that way to match, and vertically... We're going to go 0 0.15. So half the height as it is thick. Sketch is done. All right. Zoom around. Now we're going to extrude this now that your sketch is done. Now we're going to click this face. And, and the important thing is to also click this one. You want that to be one thing, and you want it to go right here the other direction. You want to be new. This is different, and we're going to make it the same thickness. All right. Now, what you'll see here is this is dark colored, this is light colored, and then when it gives you this weird shading and pixelated stuff here, that's because the two faces, the two parts interfere. So if I hard, hide part one and then I hide part two, you can see they overlap and they interfere with each other. That's important. All right, let's come around to the back over here. We're going to do one more face. We're just going to do three today. Let's square that up a little bit and then there we go. All right, so we're going to make another sketch on this face and then we're going to do a rectangle. We're going to start here, and we're just going to come right to there, and it's done. That is my sketch, and now I want to extrude 
and I want to grab not just the top, I want it to overlap. That is the key. Did we get it all? Looks like we got it all. I don't want it going out. I want it going in because that bottom was the edge of my box. All right. Yeah, I want it to be new and we're good. So again, only because I'm recording on shape struggles a little bit. There we go. Now, again, you've got three colors having trouble here, two here, two here, three parts. If I hide part three, everything's good. And if I show part three, if I hide part two and part one, I do make sure that those everything's visible. All right. Now, tools. The whole point of this video, tools. You have this list of all these commands that you could do. You can rearrange this. You can make your common tools. You can reorganize it. You can change what's down here. Um, that's sheet metal stuff. This one right here says SG. These are some of the tools I've used before. Okay, you can add custom features right there. Search tools. That's what you're going to need. Search tools. And then we're just going to start typing. Laser. Wow, didn't even have. Laser joint is the one you want. Okay. It's a feature script laser joint. All right. So you would add that. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click laser joint. And it's going to bring up all of these options. I can hit automatic over here and I can just select every face and let it do its magic. Or I can hit single here and then I get the tab part. That's the one that's going to have the parts. It's going to be notched out for tabs to come into it. And then the base part, all right, I'm sorry, I said that backwards. The tabbed part is going to have positive tabs. The base part is going to have openings and holes and recesses to accept the positive tabs. And then you can have fixed pin width, number of pin width. These are all your options, round the corners, face offset, all of those things. Right now, we're just going to hit automatic. Select parts because I can just select part one. Actually, I could select from there. I could select over here from the list. It's even better. And it automatically generates this. Now, five pins is a lot. And if you look at what's going to happen down here, you're going to have a weird keyed out section. When you auto do this, or even if you do it with a single thing, check your corners check your corners for structural integrity check them for stability um that yeah just check but we're going to go down we're going to go to maybe three tabs let's see watch that update and there now we've got wider tabs so you've got one two three tabs two in the base so it shows you that these top two have three positive tabs and this bottom plate is receiving those it is notched out and then there is you even this out up here and that's not too bad there's that and now if i hide some of these parts you can see what's left that is the um the laser tool it is laser joint tool right automatically does this so you can quickly mock up entire boxes and the other thing if i roll this back for a second and i take uh so if i take sketch two is right here and if i was to I want to try and move that. If I was to move that around or change its size right here, uh, 0 0.20. Let's make that taller. Okay. Then I hit OK. And then I take this roll bar and I bring it back down. I typed the wrong distance there. I'm deep into a video to start over. If I take sketch two, 
That's fine. If I take sketch three, Oh, because I matched sketch three to this corner of sketch two. That's why they matched the same. So when I extended one, it extended the other. You could change this. You can make one taller than the other. You could change the angles. Um, but you've got all sorts of options here in this laser joint tool that is a really fast addition. So before this video gets any longer, that's the prep. There are a lot of things. Test it out. See what you can make from it. Have a great day.